Cohen, and I get to serve in the South region. Um, and who wants to date? Who wants to date? Everybody should raise their hand. Uh, my topic today is holiness and dating. Now, before we jump into, into anything, I'd like to define what the word holiness means. The biblical definition of holiness is the state of being set apart, having purity or integrity or moral character. And it's incredible because throughout the scriptures, we get to see that God's desire is for us to be holy in every single area, including dating in the kingdom. But the question is, why do we need to maintain holiness in dating? Why do we need to get advice? Why do we need to guard each other's hearts? Well, let's look at the Bible and see what it has to say. So if you go to Hebrews 12, 14, what is the purpose of holiness and dating? Hebrews 12, 14 says, make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Wow, so here we see that without holiness, no one will see the Lord. So without holiness in dating, no one will see the Lord. Oh, wow. On the contrary, with holiness in dating, we guarantee that people will see the Lord. So it's super important to maintain holiness in dating relationships. I believe there's three main types of people that holiness in dating impacts. The first one is yourself, the person who's dating. Um, why? Because we get to build each other up to be more like Jesus. Amen. The second person that it impacts is the brothers and sisters around us. Yeah. Um, it encourages them and molds their perspective that it is possible to date purely in the kingdom, right. that it's possible to have godly relationships. Yeah. The third type of person that it impacts is non-disciples. Yeah. Um, you guys are literally like unicorns when you date in the kingdom. It's, it's nothing like the world. And when, when people see it, it's, it really attracts them to the kingdom. And so for me, I'm personally really, really grateful to be able to have dated in the kingdom um, purely. And it, it's really close to my heart because it impacted my father. Um, my dad, of course, saw me in the world. He saw me dating. Um, when I was dating in the world, he saw me coming home uh, crying, sometimes super mad, um, throwing stuff because I had gotten into fights with my boyfriend. Um, he had seen me come home depressed, um, staying in my room for days yeah. because my boyfriend had cheated on me. Yeah. He had seen me um, get in trouble because I had snuck out. And by the, amen, by the grace of God, I became a disciple yeah. and I completely changed my life. Um, but, but a year and nine months later, as a, as a disciple, I got to date in the kingdom. Yes. And my dad also saw that as well. And it was really awesome because it, it, was, it was awesome. He, he no longer saw me crying or coming home um, depressed. He saw me cheerful. He saw me talk about um, the people we had reached out to during where we were eating. Um, he saw the little cups that Caleb and I had made. Um, and it was really, really awesome. And I remember one time I caught my dad, a non-disciple dad, talking to his friend about how he saw Caleb and I's relationship super different and, and how it really impacted him. And I believe that because my, my dad saw the Lord in our relationship, he saw the evidence of God, he wanted to, to make sure that he understood who God was himself. And it was awesome because at the end of that year, my dad became a disciple. And so I, I truly believe that keeping holiness in our dating relationships is so, so important. And it's a tool to evangelize the world. And so I have a couple of practicals for everybody on how to keep and maintain holiness in your relationships, in your kingdom. And now, sisters, getting jeans with more holes in your pants doesn't mean you're going to be more holy, right? <laughs> so practical number one. Practical number one. Um, get your own deep convictions on what, what holiness is. Um, if you don't know what holiness is, how can you take care of someone else? Second practical is get advice and be humble. Just because you dated in the world a lot doesn't mean you know how to date in the kingdom. And practical number three, have fun, stay focused, and make memories. Remember, you're not married, you don't have kids, you don't really pay a lot of bills, so you have a lot of time to make memories and make disciples together as partners in the gospel. So I love you all very much, um, and let's make every effort to keep and maintain our relationships holy.